welcome back students we were seeing the topic on control and coordination now in this session we will see how impulses are transmitted through nerve cells now we need to first understand what is synapse you know nerve cells do not touch each other as they are interconnected you can say they are connected to one another one by one through which the impulses are transmitted but they do not touch they have a small space between nerve cells or you can also cal call it as a gap that gap is called as synapse so microscopic gap between a pair of adjacent neurons over which the nerve impulses pass is called as synapse now when an impulse reaches the end of an axon a chemical substance is released that moves across the synapse to the dendrite of the next neuron now let's see how it works you know what happens if suppose this is an axon and it is carrying a nerve impulse or you can say the receptors after receiving any sensitization from the receptors these axons you know carry a stimulus uh, which is act, which is acted upon by an receptor so a chemical substance is secreted here to the target cell and it is connected with the another dendrite the dendrite cell of another neuron and due to this what happens the dendrite is again uh, of the next neuron it transmits it Uh, to the cell body and then at the end of the axon to the second neuron and it can be transferred to the third neuron in a similar way so this pro process goes on like this suppose if an axon receive it from the receptor it is transferred to the dendrite of dendrite of another neuron then again from uh, dendrite it trans it get transferred to the neuron of the same cell then from the same axon again it gets transferred to the dendrite of another neuron cell so like this the chain goes on and this pro uh, this process goes on till the electric impulse reaches the relay neurons in the spinal cord and the brain and after that these neurons bring electrical impulses from brain to spinal cord and uh, then after that to the effector and where what happens effector means like the muscles and glands where have where the voluntary action is or you can say the involuntary action or the fast action like moving out the plate or moving out or you can say hand from a hot plate is done next we'll see about the reflex arc you know reflex arc as you can see here in the picture it is carried out by the spinal cord mainly the role of spinal cord is involved in this you know we can take the example of in this is that when a pin in your uh, toe or you can say paw is a uh, sharp or it is uh, you know you receive uh, receive the pain if you uh, accidentally put the your uh, leg on the pin so what happens you sensitize its pain through thermoreceptors in your leg right then the receptor triggers an impulse through the sensory neuron which transmits the message to the spinal cord okay now here the impulse is in the sensory neuron which transmits the message to the spinal cord again the impulse is passed on to the relay neuron and you know one neuron is connected with the other neuron right so in between there is a synapse okay so the motor neuron after from the uh, relay neuron it get transferred to the motor neuron okay now after the motor neuron passes the impulse to the muscle in the arm so in the sorry the uh, to the leg and the muscle contracts and pulls away our leg from the pain so the muscles in the leg is an effector because it responds to pain so this pathway along which the impulse travels is called as reflex arc as you can say the sensory neuron means uh, it as x you can say it receives the stimulus or you can say uh, whatever pain is there from the thermoreceptors through sensory neuron then through synapse uh, substances are released chemical substance is released then that impulse is transported to the relay neuron from relay neuron to motor neuron and from motor neuron to the muscle or you can say to the glands where it has to be taken the action 
okay so students this was nothing but the reflex arc so students in this session we have seen about the reflex arc and the synapse in further session we will see more about the nervous system thank you